Welcome to a new episode of the podcast. I'm Gwen Awesome, and this show is all about awesome living, creating an awesome life that you absolutely love to live every day. So today is Halloween. So I am coming to you live from space as Dr. Beverly Crusher from Star Trek, the next generation, I think. Y'all, I got to level with you. I am basically dressed, yes, as Dr. Beverly Crusher, but also as quite simply a phenomenal wife. As my husband, Josh, he is a huge fan of Star Trek and he is uh, Jean-Luc Picard. You should see him. He's uh, he's saying T, Earl Grey hot. <laughs> God, that's all I know. Uh, he's not saying that. But uh, honestly, this is fun to me. This is an awesome moment. Uh, I'm like, I'm not a Trekkie, but it's really fun to just go for it. I forgot how fun Halloween can actually be if you just have a lighthearted approach with some levity. Um, yeah, Josh was actually surprised. He's like, oh, I didn't know you were going to really go for it and dress up. I'm like, yes, I am. This is a new era for me where I just have a good time in life. And this to me is a good time. And this is like an authentic costume, I think. Uh, so this is fun. So today's episode I thought would be really fun. And also it's very synchronistic. The episode called Live Long and Prosper. Uh, I do believe this is an iconic Vulcan salute. Don't quote me. Uh, Vulcans being a species on Star Trek. I'm sorry to any Trekkie who is uh, furious with me right now. Uh, but it's actually a really interesting time to talk about this because Last week when I was recording, it was my first ever just audio podcast. I was sick. I was not prospering. I was feeling awful. I was just taking in all of the world events and basically basically eating it for breakfast and just feeling awful because I usually don't get sick. I'm very lucky to be generally have very like a high well-being but just yeah got taken down and so now I'm really back to focusing on prospering so let's talk about that actually what does prospering actually mean well I looked it up and what it said on the internet is to succeed in material terms so be financially successful like his business prospered or flourish physically grow strong and healthy well, I want all of that. That all sounds fantastic. Prospering to me just means you're doing well. Good things are happening in your life. And I am here for that. Um, so I want to talk about two things. So the prospering aspect is really interesting because that word has been coming up a lot lately for me. Uh, even just yesterday, I joined an online community called the Prosper Network, which is for established business owners to who have similar shared values of generosity, reciprocation, um, collaboration. I actually don't know all of the values, but just it felt like the right vibe for me because they're also connected to Sherry Salada's the support system. So I actually just joined the Prosper Network because she wants to prosper in this new era. And what's also very interesting is I truly believe that I am conjuring up a new era for my business. I have been in business for 10 years as a sole proprietor, and then I incorporated in 2020, and my business services have evolved over the years, uh, mostly in the online course world. And I'm so excited to figure out what this new era is going to be that truly does feel like prospering. I don't know if you're in the same position with me, uh, whether it's a business idea or wherever you, if there's something in your life that hadn't quite been working, but you're ready for it to prosper. Let's just, let's just explore this a little bit. So I was having my business in 2020, when I incorporated making online courses for authors and experts, was technically financially prospering. I had been making more money than I ever had in my life through my full-time day job of making courses and then my side business where I worked basically 12 hours a day and all weekends uh, for like all of 2020 on the business. So fun. <laughs> 
it was it was it was fun but no it was it was very challenging and I I said yes way too much um but technically it was financially successful but that just reminds me how money is great and if you can't and if you feel like you're pushing a boulder up a hill the whole time because you just took on too much or it doesn't quite feel right, actually, it feel, felt more like trying to jam a square peg into a round hole. Like there were elements of me in that business that worked really well, but I was forcing it. And um, I'm so excited for this new era where I'm going to be building something beautiful. I don't exactly know what it is yet. I just know that it's going to be something really exciting and building it as a mom and as somebody that has been so focused on building a well a foundation of well-being through meditation, through the food I eat, through uh just aiming to have great conversations with people, aiming to uh follow people who nourish the soul as often as I can, it's just going to be a whole new, exciting uh, business that I create from this new space versus this lack space and wanting to impress other people and a people pleasing space, really like a, a full place versus a, I got to prove something place. So it's going to be exciting. Don't know exactly how it's going to go, but trust me when I say it could be, it's going to be a blast. So stay tuned. So, and I also want to talk about living long. Also, interestingly enough, in the last few weeks, I have met three family members uh, who are in their 90s. They are living long. And each family member is doing, doing, some are doing, some are doing better than others. Some are extremely excited to be alive and to take on what's next. Others are not as excited and are struggling quite a bit. So it just reminded me that I might live to be in my 90s. You might live to be in your 90s. I don't know how old you are right now, but there's a good chance you got 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years left of your life. That is a good reminder. You may have barely scratched the surface of what you are here to do. It may have been pure manure living. (laughs) This last few years, you might feel like your life is crappy right now. And I say it's manure living because that is where you're going to plant those seeds and it's going to be nourished and you're going to (laughs) flourish. Truly. And so I just have to remind myself and to you listening, you came here for a reason that there is some beautiful things in store for you. And you, you may have tomorrow or even today might be the turning point where everything starts to prosper for you. And since I've started to have that prospering feeling over the last year, over, since being laid off from my full-time job, winding down the way I used to run my business and kind of laying the foundation to gear up, here are a few things that feel like prospering to me. And I encourage you to write down or, or ponder what actually feels like prospering in your life. So when I first heard the word, I thought, Prospering is feeling excited, feeling joyful, feeling generous, feeling like my cup runneth over with good things, feeling satisfied. Uh, I am a emotional feeling person, so that's how it lands for me. You might not have any care for the feeling part, but then practically a few different words came to mind. So prospering feels like the ability to discover new beautiful things about life. For example, I was so overjoyed to simply discover there was a costume shop in my own town that rented out this costume and Josh got his costume. And it was at an absolute unbelievable price. It was $10 to to rent both my costume and $10 to rent his costume. 
that's that's a miraculous discovery okay um because i was gonna you know go to amazon and buy like an 80 dollar costume but then through the magic of discovery just could support a local business owner met another man actually the guy who runs the place is also 80s or 90s now i don't know how his business model works but it's a costume shop where he (laughs) at prime time rents out the costumes at ten dollars each so anyway He's, he's, I'm sure he's figured something out over there, but discovery. Another thing that it really helps me feel prosperous is just the, the idea of abundance, abundance of time, abundance of knowledge, like having the ability to just think of a book, buy a book, download a book, or take a course or learn from a person, uh, abundance of stories, just hearing the stories of people succeeding just fills my heart with glee. Sure, abundance of money to just have cash flow to buy things, to travel, to experience new um, new adventures, to add to the discovery. Um, abundance of love and family time. There's so much to abundance, and that really does feel like prospering to me. Another one is connection. So I am absolutely a people person. Like I went to a party on the weekend. First time I went to a house party in, I don't know, four years, five years. I haven't been out. I haven't, and now I'm a mom and imagine me a mom going to a house party. Well, I did it. Thank you to my uh, brother-in-law and sister, Gab and Sam for getting me out of the house. So going there, the reason I bring that up is I love a party. I love a place where I don't even know anybody. I'm just like, let's, let's talk, let's connect. I am that person or just being a part of different online communities. I just love, I love it. I just love people. I love even, yeah, when I went to Canadian Tire today, connecting with the lady at the front, uh, just talking. I'm, (laughs) I am a person that wants to have people feel seen, heard, loved, life is going to be good. That is me. And my last one that I share about prospering is well-being. Now, well-being is our natural birthright. We're born well, I believe, and just something might happen and things go awry. But uh, we all come here for a purpose and have our... um... So as I say that, I just know that there's... As I was saying that, I just had a a memory pop up of, of a when kids are, are not well when they're born. So I'm not, I haven't wrapped my head around that yet. So let's put a pin in that one. When I solve that mystery, but from what I understand from learning from spiritual teachers, we have well-being is our natural birthright. We're supposed to be well. So how I think about that now is what can I eat? How can I move to embody well-being? What can I say? What can I scroll? Who? What do I got to mute? What do I got to take more of in to feel well? Because we really got to control our well-being and really manage our mood as the Abraham quote goes. So as I come to the end of this episode, I just want to invite you to join me in living long. No, in prospering and living long. Prosper first so that you live long and enjoy your life. Let us all have a little reset today and remind ourselves that we are here for a short time, a good time, hopefully a long time if we enjoy our experience here on planet earth. Well, you're on planet earth. I'm in space. Well, thank you so much for listening to the episode of the show today. I encourage you to scroll back to listen to some other episodes, spark joy, spark interest. And I really hope that you have an absolutely awesome day. 